So do you think that we're overdiagnosing ADHD? This is a very important uh, question from a public health standpoint. Uh, it is true that um, the diagnosis and the rates of diagnosis has increased in the past decades. However, the question is, are we overdiagnosing ADHD in relation to the expected rate, diagnostic rate? And when we look at different studies uh, in different countries, the rate of diagnosis is very different across countries. However, uh, when we consider the same diagnostic criteria, uh, the rate of diagnosis is fairly consistent across countries in the world, and it is around 5% of the general population of school-age children. So we should expect that around 5% of children in the UK are diagnosed with ADHD. When we look at the so-called administrative prevalence of ADHD, namely to which extent children are really diagnosed in clinical service, this is around 2.5%. So the claim that uh, we are overdiagnosing ADHD is probably not supported by empirical evidence. It goes without saying, of course, that uh, some children with ADHD may receive um, a misdiagnosis and some children who do not have ADHD are diagnosed with ADHD. But in general, um, we cannot claim that we are over-diagnosing ADHD, at least in the UK. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.